What's up, guys? So in the world of car audio, one of the most difficult things that we deal with is the electrical system to keep everything running. And uh, the problem with car audio is it's based on the 12 volt system that you have running your vehicle. And in, in electrical world, voltage times amperage equals watts. So the more voltage you have, the less amperage you need to be able to get the watts that you want. And uh, in that scenario, higher voltage is always better. Um, if you have 12 volts times 100 amps, that's 1,200 watts, minus the inefficiencies of turning DC power into AC, which is what your speakers actually see. But on the other hand, if you have 13 volts, the same 100 amps, you now have 1300 watts minus those efficiencies. So as you see, when your voltage goes up, your power output goes up uh, without raising the amperage load. Now, having said that, uh, there are multiple ways to do this. And the way that I recommend everybody do it is straight up go to Trump Thunder Lithium. Use the link down below with my discount code, CAE10, get your discount. You're gonna get some really, really good power storage. But let's say you've already invested in a lot of AGM and you don't really wanna make that switch yet. So you got your AGM batteries. This little guy right here is a rock solid North Star AGM 80, a lot of power in these guys. But as with all AGM, there is a limitations to them. Uh, with lead acid batteries, the old, uh, you had even more limitations. AGMs were a big step up from that. Still, there's only so much power you can shove in this thing at one time and only so much power you can take out of it at one time. Now, it'll hold a lot of energy. You can store a tremendous amount of power inside this box. The problem comes into accessing that power quickly for a system that is dynamic and requires big dynamic hits where you're pulling, you know, a small amount of current that all of a sudden you're pulling 2000 amps. Then you're pulling nothing again and you're pulling 2000 amps again. And you're also trying to put hundreds of amps back into that storage to replace that power that you took out. These things are limited. The way you uh, fix that problem is by having a lot of them. 10, 15, 20, a lot of them. And they're also heavy, very heavy. So each one of those guys is gonna add a tremendous amount of weight to your vehicle. Another solution when you're running AGM especially is to run one of these guys, an ultra capacitor. Now, this one is a 375 farad uh, capacitor. Now, inside your amplifier, you have capacitors on the board in there. Those capacitors do exactly what this does, but on a smaller scale. What they're designed to do is take the power that's coming into the amplifier from a battery and store it in those capacitors so that when those dynamic hits happen, you get that power instantly available because you can't instantly pull that power from that battery. It's gonna take a little time. And I mean a little time, but in music, a little, a little tiny amount of time is a lot of time. So your base hit won't be near as you know, crisp and solid if you don't have the capacitors. This is why whenever they see, when you see someone doing an amp dyno, the uh, the dynamic portion of that is really what you're looking at because that dynamic boom, whenever that bass note comes in and hits, is subject to how much instant power you can provide that amplifier board to turn into alternating current to send to those subwoofers. If your capacitance is low, then it's going to be a soft hit. You'll hear it and it'll come in and get strong, but it won't come in with a slam, okay? 
you'll notice on those tests that a lot of the amplifiers that have small amounts of small capacitors don't have very much dynamic headroom or dynamic power. Whereas the boards with lots of big capacitors do. That's where this comes in. So if you got these guys mounted on your vehicle to, to hold all that energy, all that storage, what you need is the way to access it instantly. A super capacitor, one of these. And by the way, if you head over to Big Jeff, use the link down below and my coupon code. These guys, uh, the B-Stock are on sale for 109 bucks right now. And uh, they're still in stock. The, the, the normal ones are not, they're out of stock, but the B-Stock, they're still in stock. You wanna grab one. And that coupon code will take care of saving you some more money on top of that. So if you have these guys in your system to store the power, you run from here to the capacitor, then, for, then right on the other side of that capacitor, the shortest runs you can get to your amplifier. Now you've got the capacitor to give you the instant power so that it's there to give you that bang when that bass hits and this guy to recharge and refill that capacitor and keep it up to snuff where it can continue to give you those slams. Okay, of course your alternator is charging everything. The beauty of that is you can use your existing AGM bank and still get some good snappy quick instant impactful dynamic response out of this. This will also help with those quick voltage drops. If you're seeing your voltage fall real quick and then come back up, this will stabilize that. It will help with headlight dimming. It'll help with those spikes. It'll help with that, that sag that you're getting. It'll help with all those things. Now it doesn't store a tremendous amount of power, not compared to a battery, but it does store quite a bit and it's able to instantly deliver all the power it has and also instantly take in all the power it needs to maintain that. All you gotta do is feed it a steady source of power. That's what this is good at. This is good at instant power. This is good at long-term feeding power. So to combine these together and you get a system that will give you a good solid electrical for your vehicle. Again, I recommend going to Trunk Thunder Lithium and picking up something from Brandon over there to do the job of both of these at the same time. Because that lithium is going to be very similar to the output and intake of this guy. It's going to give you instant response and still have a tremendous amount of storage. Like this guy. But if you've already invested in AGM and you just want something to help clean it out, clean it up, you know, and smooth it out, this guy right here from Big Jeff Audio, it'll get it done. If you guys haven't hit that subscribe button already, go ahead and bang the crap out of it. Because I'm always talking about cool, crazy stuff like this. Peace, guys.